Maple season is in full swing here in New York and I'm heading into the woods right now. lines look for leaks we use a vacuum system so that's what we're going to do fix the lines like I said and yeah I'm all loaded down got all my stuff on me so what I carry when we're fixing lines is pretty much everything that I possibly might need I have a drill in case anyone missed any spouts so in case the tree needs to be tapped I got my drill got my hammer got my tubing most of the time when you find the leaks it's from squirrel bites in the tubing. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm also gonna show you how to find a leak and how to identify if you need to walk the line at all. So here we go. Here's one of our pump houses that we have. We have a couple different properties with maple woods on them. So we're just gonna walk in here, see if it's running at all see what the vacuum is at and then we'll go from there. to our pump house and now out here if you see we have some main lines that run in so that's where we collect the sap and all of our sap is gathered through tubing so behind me we have one inch tubing and then off of the main lines that's what we call those is the main lines off of those we have 5 16 tubing the lateral lines which run to all the trees that are tapped one of the ways to look for leaks to help you if you're just doing kind of a fast check is we have a valve on every end of our one inch lines. So if you shut this and you wait a couple seconds, when you open it, if there is a leak in some of the lines, you're gonna hear the air moving through, which you could actually hear the sap a little bit. There's a leak in this line. So we're gonna walk it, but actually what I'm here today to do is to walk every single line, no matter what, if I hear it or not. But I just wanted to give you guys a little background that that is one way if you're trying to get big leaks right away without walking everything, that's one way to do it. Here's one of the lateral lines. You can see the sap moving through. And if the sap is moving real slow or barely moving, that's a good sign that there's no air leaks. When you see the sap flowing like this, that's not good. Here we have a lateral line and there's nothing in it. So what I'm gonna do is walk this entire line. But as you can see right here, this is what I'm looking for. There's little nicks in the line. Those are from squirrel bites. So typically where you find the nicks, there will be a hole in the line. So we're gonna fix it, put a connector there and uh, yeah, keep moving on. But a lot of times it helps to not wear gloves because you actually have to walk and feel the line the entire time. So that way you can feel where the nicks are. Here what I did since the nick was so close to another connector, this is the old tubing right here, is I just cut it where the nick was and then put it back onto this connector. This line is pretty taut. What I would normally do if there was slack in the line is I would just cut it out and try to pull it to a connector that's already there. But since it's pretty tight, I'm just gonna latch on our tool around the bite marks right here and then cut out this piece. There you go. Grab a connector. Put this 
squeeze it together. So here's a leak you can hear from a mile away. Look at this thing, it's a mess! This right here is why we don't shoot in the maple woods. You can see all the shot right in the line and you can hear it. Just put a little band-aid fix on it for now. But sounds good. Time to move on. Right now it's 50 degrees, so things are heating up. The sap is flowing, and our vacuum's doing pretty good, but it's not quite where we want it to be. And that's why we're out here walking all the lines. We already walked all those woods for the major leaks, so you didn't hear anything here, but right off the bat, this is why we're walking line by line now. Walking, looking at all the lateral lines, and you can see how the sap is moving through. There's a leak on this line, so we're gonna walk it and find the leak. You see this it's not attached correctly so right there and you can see the air bubbling I'm guessing this is the cause of our leak right here we've been through this woods multiple times now already this season so a lot of our leaks are smaller or they're from damage from squirrel bites deer chewing on the lines and so I'm gonna go back check out this line make sure I got it good but a lot of times it's just something just as simple as that and now you can see the sap filling up, and that's what caused the leak. Simple as that. Just that tap. heading out of the woods right now. I did not finish checking all the lines. I actually only got a really small portion done because where I am right now, it is like squirrel city. There's so many small nicks all over the line, so you really have to walk and feel them all and then fix them all. So it's taking me absolutely forever, but I'll be back here bright and early tomorrow morning and hopefully I can finish up this woods tomorrow and then we'll probably just jump down to another woods. During maple season, fixing lines is a never ending process. So as soon as you finish one woods, you go to the other, and once you get them all completed, you just start all over again, keep going. 